It's great for me to uh, be here again. Today, today we are just talking about growth. We need to grow in whatever we do. And when I talk about growth, I'm not talking about age. I'm not talking about title. I'm not talking about how long you have existed or how long you have been in church. As Christians, we must grow. As a nation, we need to grow. And as people of God, we should move away from mediocrity to health and to growth. And as we talk about transformation, we also have a model that God has given us for us to look up to and imitate the man Jesus Christ. And his model is what every Christian should look up to and imitate. When you read Luke 2, 52, the writer of this gospel is St. Luke, a medical doctor. He didn't just write it from just observation. I think he did a lot of empirical observation too, and concluded by saying that and Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God, and in favor with man. Now, if you are Christians, I think this holistic approach to growth becomes very important. Why? We have many people who claim to be Christians spiritually. They pray for hours. They fast for days. They preach with authority and power. And yet, their social lives, their relationships is so, so, I mean, terrible. And you come to ask yourself, how can in one breath be so spiritual at the same time even loving your wife, loving your other workers, treating people with respect and dignity becomes a challenge. And that is why as the year gets to a close, we need to re-examine our Christian lives. Are we like Jesus? Growth is not a title that you should hold for you to say that you have grown. In Jesus Christ, growth means that you are like him. And that's what the Bible says, that we shall be like him. And of course, when he appears, the Bible says we shall be like him. But then, if now you are not like him, how can you be like him when you appear? And that's why the topic of growth becomes so important. Jesus grew. In wisdom, we have to continually learn, read, also seek wisdom from God in everything we do so that we don't become like the world. When the Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, it's saying that there are so many things that confront us, but we must stand out as ambassadors of Christ, as representatives of Christ. But if you don't have the wisdom of God, there's no way. You can be like Christ. Jesus grew in, in, in physically. And that's why the Bible says, when it talks about stature, how is our, our physical growth? Sometimes we are more spiritual than Jesus. We talk more about what we claim to be spiritual things more than health, taking care of your body, the food you eat, the exercises you need to do. I mean, even the water you need to drink and the, the environment that you find yourself, we are called to live in a very healthy and clean environment. I mean, John says that I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health. Good health is signs of growth. At the same time, Jesus grew, grew in favor with God. What does that mean? That is spiritual. And when it comes to spiritual things, yes, people do think it is read your Bible, pray every day. Of course, we need to do that all the time. But I think the highest form of spiritual growth, as far as Jesus is concerned, was that at every point in time, he obeyed and lived and did the will of the Father. Doing the will of the Father became, became everything of his life. How is our spiritual life? We love to sing, preach, go out to evangelize. We, we, we are always active in church. It's good. But the big question is, do we seek to do the will of God in whatever you do, in our marriage lives, in our relationships, in our work, in even relating to people, do we seek to do the will of the Father? Or is it because everybody is doing it? 
Everyone is corrupt. Everyone is taking bribe. Everyone is using shortcut means to get money. So you are also using it. You are a child of God. And Jesus grew in favor of man. The social life was excellent. And so we always have to examine ourselves in a context of growth of Jesus. Are we really growing? Or some of us, the day we became Christians, our hearts and attitudes and behaviors are still the same. There's no change. You have to look into the, into the growth of Jesus in the context of these four areas. Are you growing like Jesus physically? Are you growing like Jesus in wisdom? Intellectual? Are you growing like Jesus in the area of social life or spiritual life? And that is so important and it can be visibly seen if we do away with all type of nepotism, all type of acrimony, schism, pull him down, corruption, and all types of arrogance, hatred, jealousies, and all things that go with the flesh. This had to do with mediocrity. People who are childish, people who are not grown as we seek to go through this band. And of course, the end of the year, let's examine our lives in a context of scripture. Are we growing? And the yardstick we are using as growth is Jesus. And if you are growing, what shows, what clearly shows that you are growing is that you want to serve. In whatever capacity you find yourself, you want to serve. Even your wife, you want to serve her. Your wife wants to serve you. You want to serve your children. You are a manager. You want to serve. You are the boss. You want to serve. You know, in whatever area you work, in wherever you find yourself, Anytime you have opportunity to serve, it means it's an opportunity to be like Jesus. We have no option than to stand out, take away the arrogance, take away the pomposity, take away the schism, they pull him down. That attitude that shows that you are so selfish, thinking of more of yourself and not thinking of the other. Growth means that the other, the other person, your neighbor, becomes even more important than yourself. And Jesus demonstrated it. When you read, I mean, Romans 5, 8. Whilst we are still st sinners, he died for us. I wish you all a good time. And wherever you find yourself, let's grow. We have been living as children, fighting for too long. This is the time to grow, to stand out, to be different, to be the light of the world, to be the salt of this earth. God bless you.